two swords are better than one. And let's face it, sometimes your fighting buddy is otherwise engaged. Hence, my interest in the fabled Mithril Shadow Blade, which makes a new ally out of yourself. <laughs> I'd be happy to part with this artifact that gives you four times as many studs if someone forged one for me. I thank you. This looks like fine craftsmanship indeed. I was just thinking then, if one Mithril Shadow Blade gives you one ally, do you think you could make a Shadow Mithril Shadow Blade to give him his own ally? Rather made my brain hurt. Never mind. Again, you've come to my aid, and the aid of all my darling pumpkins bound for their new homes. I can't thank you enough for all your help, but take this for your trouble. Well, if it isn't the unofficial king's hand, my remaining subjects have barricaded themselves in my new throne room. Run and forge me a mithril bomb blade, so I can blast me way in. In return, I'll bestow upon you the ability to hear nostalgic music wherever you go. Did you get the mithril bomb blade? Your king thanks you. Maybe now I can get inside and start doing some actual ruling. Here, another trinket to add to your collection. What's that, friend? Why, yes, I have been working out. With these three trunk arms of mine, I believe I could wield a ten ton mithril warhammer. I'd need someone to forge me one, though. Would you mind? You can have something to make you look as impressive as me in return. <laughs> You actually brought me the Mithril Warhammer! Oh! Marvelous! I'm amazed you were able to carry it all this way. You must be almost as strong as yours truly! And I think that's an achievement worth celebrating. It's long been disputed who has the most aesthetically pleasing style of combat. Elves have their fancy bows and daggers, but can they match the grace of the Mithril Tornado Axe? Hmm? Only one way to find out. Go forge me one, friend. For your trouble, you can have something to help you find more silver. Ho! Ha! Ho! Well, if it isn't my very own Mithril Tornado Axe, oh, now my elven friend and I can finally settle our disagreement with a contest of weaponry showmanship. I warn you, things could get fabulous. Greetings. You are in the presence of the fastest bowman in all of Middle-earth. However, I yearn to shoot even more arrows with even greater speed, 
and a mithril multi-bow could grant me this ability. Could I ask that you forge me one? The secret to a fancy flail will be your reward. Splendid. That's exactly what I was looking for. Any foe I encounter will be in sheer awe of the quantity of arrows flying towards them. Why, they'll be greater in number than the very blades of grass on the ground. Well, there or thereabouts. My gratitude, traveler. I've been trying to train birds to retrieve loot for quite a while, but to no avail. I suppose I'll have to bite the arrow and ask that you forge me a mithril falcon. It's not a real bird, but through some enchantment, it brings riches back from everything it touches. In exchange, you may have this gem that makes you invincible. Sounds like a fair trade, does it not? A mithril falcon, and not a moment too soon. I thought I'd made a breakthrough with the birds, but it turns out the objects they were returning were... Uh, well, let's just say it wasn't loot. Much obliged, friend. Used to be elves, did you know that? Well, there's more to it than that, but I won't bore you with the details. I want you to forge me some elven mithril slippers so I can get back to me roots. I'll make it worth your while with this little gem that helps you find treasure items. <laughs> oh, those are the mithril slippers. Ooh, they're shinier than I even imagined. Then I'd look a right princess with those beauties on me tootsies. <laughs> oh, if you were a proper prince, you'd put them on for me. But I reckon I'll put you through enough already. Thanks. Uh, don't talk to me. I've got so many things to build and no time to build them. If only I'd forged that time-slowing mithril construction out when I had the materials. You wouldn't be able to make me one, would you? You can have this thing that gives you six times the studs in return. Look, I said don't talk to... Oh, is that a mithril construction act? For me? <laughs> you shouldn't have. No, you really shouldn't. I'm building a load of war equipment to wipe anything that isn't an orc from the face of Middle-earth. <laughs> Only kidding. I'm building our houses. Thanks. you for a moment there. Time to melee some booms into this miserable bunch. Thanks again for your help. I know I made. I'll sleep well once I'll get back in the McCabe. Bandit gloves. 
You have my thanks. Oh, they're not for me. They're for my sister, who serves in Thranduil's guard. I'm hoping that these will help her bring home some better spoils from her enemies. Fireworks bow. How very kind of you. I've seen how easily Gandalf impresses people with his displays. Perhaps one day people will speak as highly of mine. Prepare yourself, Gandalf. There's a new fireworks master in town. Mm-hmm. Mate of mine, we call him John, knows nothing when it comes to snow. He thinks all it's good for is building snowmen and wooing the ladies. But if I had a mithril snow pult on me, I could demonstrate its true potential. In return, I'll show you how to shrink down smaller than a hobbit. I see you forged a mithril snow bolt. Now I'll show John a thing or two about the proper use of snow. Pelting friends and foes alike with frozen balls of icy wrath. Oh, you know, snowball fights is the more commonly known. Weather is far too nice to be digging about in gloomy old caves. Unless you're a dwarf, I suppose. If I'm going to pursue a career in mine, I'd much prefer a mithril pickaxe to get the whole business done in a jiffy. If you'd be good enough to forge me one, I'll give you a tip on perfect forging. You've brought me a mithril pickaxe. Well, that's awfully generous of you, but, well, Farmer Maggot offered me an extra pumpkin a week if I stick to farming for him. So I won't be doing any mining after all. Still, maybe I can use it to chase off any other nuisance trolls. Thanks. Wandering forger. <laughs> well, it seems good things really do come to those who wait and to those who forge things for people. Oh, I wonder what else I could ask you to forge for me. <gasps> could you come back later when I've had time to think? Wandering Forger, you came. As it's night time, I have a slightly more mysterious request for you. The Mithril Beanstalk is said to be able to transform any creature it hits into a plant. Doesn't that sound mysterious? 
Your reward for forging me one will increase the wealth you find by eight times. Ooh, you've returned! And with the mithril beanstalk, no less. Marvelous. Hmm, I, I'm not entirely sure if there's anyone I particularly want to turn into a plant, especially now I've been told the effect is only temporary. But if I ever do, I'll be prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you looking at? You think because I'm an orc, you're better than me? You know, I'm not a skin, I ain't no different from you. Forge me a mithril skull cap and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, I don't expect you to do it for nothing. I've got this rock you can have. Supposed to make you twice as healthy or something. That and the mithril skull cap. Ah, thanks. Put that thing on, and everyone shows up what they are inside. Just a whole lot of bones. Yeah, that's some deep stuff. You think about that. Other worldly objects I've seen around. What are they? Artifacts that only one garbed in mithril wraith armor could use, perhaps? This trinket for finding rubies. It's all yours if you forge me some of that mysterious armor. So, this is the mithril wraith armor. And it reveals hidden objects. Maybe now I can finally find a way to open that mysterious gate I saw. taking these crank handles off. I can never find one when I need one. Oh, I'd forge myself a mithril skeleton crank which fits any slot. But for some reason they don't take kindly to goblins in the blacksmith. You could forge me one though. Oh, and I could tell you how to start a worldwide party in return. What's that? Oh, skeleton crank. Finally, I can bust this thing open, and many other things besides. Yeah, 
I'll let you do the honors on this one as an extra thanks or whatever. My gratitude. This shall make a fine addition to my furnishings. Supposedly, it can cure darkness and some other stuff too. But who needs all that bother? <laughs> 